We born on different continent. We speak the different language. We grow up on the different culture. But our dream is the same. Dream to go fast. Dream to be the greatest race car. Your dream, my dream. Together, we can make this happen. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to our world. Hello. What's going on, guys? Um, welcome back to uh, Fong Channels. On the previous video uh, on the Phoenix suspension, we tried to uh, uh, find the problem uh, of the wheel movement, uh, why the camber and the toe is changing too much. And basically, we have the steel plate and we have the gauge, and then actually, we um, lift the suspension up and down and then we found it's a lot of change on the uh, wheel and then between both sides is toe in and toe out is around like two inches i would say it's over two inches and then that's 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 a lot of move on the on the wheel and then uh, soon we found that problem and we keep move the low control arm and move the steering tie rod uh, go up, going down, uh, put more spacer on between those two traction bar and low control arm, and then we found the spot where the low control arm and the steering tie rod have to be stay at. And then today, you know, uh, we uh, done a lot of work. So soon we found the spot where to put, uh, where to. Uh, uh, <clears throat> Uh, I would say it's where to set those uh, low control arm and steering tie rod and then we go ahead and make the spindle bracket. We make another bracket. It's bigger than original one. So basically they have two brackets, one on top, one on the bottom. We put the spade and then between those spades we can move the steering tie rod. So, you know, actually that adjustable. And then we put a very good bow and we tie, we tie between those two brackets. And actually the spindle is super, super strong right now. Here the video and you got to take a look at it. Let's go. <laughs> yeah, second day. Welcome back, Bruce. Hello, Vaughn. Continue to work on Hello, the Phoenix. World. Yeah, he come in today. He's uh, uh, last night he tried to make the extension this year for the steering rod where we can move the rod. So we... Uh, we easy adjustable so where we can find the right location for the rod and then uh, he brought uh, some washer so we can uh, move that low control arm up and down yep we're gonna do some mock-up we need some extra adjustability just for trial and error purposes these will not be the the final parts on the car of course but it's not it final will, but we keep moving keep trying until figure out some yeah. adjustability issues and then we'll make the real parts from there Yes, sir. Oh. <laughs> yeah, we tried that uh, two washer between those uh, traction bar and low control arm first. See how it goes. Okay, let's. Uh, well, let's jack it all the way up. We don't need to pay okay, attention. Okay, so to that. today we're gonna test by jacking the suspension all the way up, and from there we moving down. I think that's the maximum we can go. Oh, are we? Yeah. Oh. Let's see. Yeah. Okay, we're up to our line, so we're okay. Okay. Zero. Zero, zero. Yeah, uh, the dial gate, is everything stay on the zero right now. So the small number there is because it move in and out. And the big one, it they tell you how far it yes. goes. Oh, yep. okay. exactly. So we can count them as we go because then we'll have, we won't have to actually watch them because we'll see mm -hmm. on the little versus the large scale. So you want me slowly yep. let it go slowly down? Slowly get it down, yep. See how it changed. It's already changed. Yep. 
Let her keep going. That's a one ton right there. Yeah, that's okay. We can we can watch it in one, yep. just nice gentle gentle down, and we can see it all the way now. Keep going. Tiny little star. Right oh, here. we're stuck. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Do it again. Yeah, let's come back up and double check. Okay. Come back up a tiny bit. Yeah, you're still, I can, you've got a clearance. Okay, you're good there. All right, let me just zero that again. And zero this one again. My feet on it. Okay. Pretty much zero right there. Mm -hmm. Oh, zero. Okay. Slowly going down far. <clears throat> There's a the one turn. Turn. Three. It's all the way down. All the way down. Three. Okay, so now you see you're on the three, mm -hmm. and then you're thirty and thirty-seven. So you're three hundred and thirty-seven thousand. Three hundred and thirty-seven. Three thirty-seven on the front. And that's a positive number. And this one went 297. <clears throat> so it's a difference of 40. 40 thousands that's out. 40 thousands total out. out through the travel. How thick is 40 thousand? Uh, two of your spark plugs. Two of the spark plugs. 17, 34. Okay. Just a little bit more than your spark plug it. Yeah. Not horrible. That's like it's, two millimeter? No. Um do math. Forty thousand. Four thousandths is a tenth of a millimeter, so yes. That's one millimeter. It is one millimeter of movement outward. One millimeter. One millimeter. That's We're a big gonna move. get it better, my friend. Because <laughs> <laughs> we move from the inches and a half so we to inch inches and a half to now to a like millimeter. a millimeter. Yes. <laughs> That's a big move, Bruce. For, for, for people overseas, millimeters. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I grow up with a millimeter, yes. and I come here, and everything is different. Yes. Yep. So. I'm still concerned about that, but you know, okay. we're getting there. I'm very happy with that. So, um, let's um, space it out, stay in rock. Just to try it, because I like this procedure better now that we've got it close. Okay. Let's take one of those that you just put in out mm. and see what it does. Okay. Just so we have reference points. <clears throat> try yep. and gather as much data as possible. Yeah, Bruce want to try to took one washer on the middle. We have two right there, so let's take one out, see what happens. All right, let's bring the suspension all the way back. Test number two. Attempt number two. All the way up. <clears throat> First, second test, one thin shim. Set the gate to zero. This side all zero now. This one wasn't touching yet. It was close, but it wasn't touching. Okay. This one zero. Okay. Zero and zero. And your yep, double zeros. <clears throat> Okay. And down. 
her slowly. Two turn. <clears throat> Three. Four. We got four ten now. All the way down. Okay. So you're at four ten. This one is at 271. Two? Uh, yeah. So that made it worse. Does make it worse, huh? Yep. So actually, we took the space out. They mm -hmm. make it worse. Yep. So let's do a thick and a thin now and see what that does. All right. So, Just for data. So now we're going to add up thicker space. So we have one in there now. So now we're going to throw one thick one, see how it go. Yeah, so we have like very thick uh, washer between those two arms. And then we uh, try to do it again. Let's jack the suspension all the way up and see what changed this time. Yep. Thing is up. Set the gate H0. Zero right now. Okay. Okay. Let's see what we get there. Okay. Slowly going down. You're all the way down. Okay, that's 2 and 98. And I'm at 308. 308, 298, 308. That's not much. <laughs> <laughs> that's going to be our starting point, and yeah. we can pretty much get that. Yeah. So you are at 298. You're at 298. You are, and then you are 308. Mm hmm. And I am at for sure 308. So that's 10 up a thousand. That's 10 thousands. That's like what? Half your spark plug gap. Half a spark plug gap, like a um, quarter of a millimeter. Basically, about about that. Yes, sir. That's a, above, that's a little, bit, little bit thinner than a so piece actually of, I think that space shirt is work perfect. I think now we gonna, move on. Yes, now we move but, on the toe. Yes, but what we need to do is I mean ten thousands Fong, I don't think we need to worry about it. But yeah. you see how far you're up inside now, you're not getting to the bottom of the nut. No, that nut is very thick, so, so you don't have to worry. We cut that nut in half. It, well, yeah, exactly. If we can get a couple of <clears> new ones because the nylon is wore out. We'll just spin them in the lathe and make them flat and true. Yeah. And make sure that the stud comes through the bottom so that we're yeah. safe. Yeah. If, uh, if uh, we don't need a nylon lock, we just kind of put a lock tie into it. Yeah. You can yeah. Put a bit so of blue lock tie so we just there, cut, okay. put that on the last machine and just yep. cut it. Yep. And then. Well, oh, man. Um, let's change out. And right now we're going to need about two and a quarter inches because we've got three spacers stacked just for test purposes okay so um two and a quarter inches is where we're going to start but now we'll be able to adjust the nuts on the top yeah to raise it up and down because we're not turning the car with any weight on it we may have a tiny bit of flex but again it's just for test purposes yeah just for the test yep. okay
Okay, let's throw that in then. Okay. And so wow, ten thousand so long. That's nothing. That's literally nothing. Yeah, we uh, so we um, come down to like ten thousand between different between front and the back mm -hmm. of the tire. That's very good number. That's very good. Bruce. If you know um, a sixteenth of an inch is sixty two thousandths. Yeah. So through the three inches of travel, ten thousandths of an inch. <laughs> That's um, a big move, bro. We're basically about a hundred and twenty eighth of an inch. Yeah, and right now we throw this adjustable bolt <laughs> and then we find the right spot. Yep. yep. I don't know, you can see the little tiny gap on the caliper, that's a 10,000 of an inch. Compared to what, two and a half inch, two inch? Uh, we were inch and a half both sides when we first, well, inch and a half total. So we were three quarters of an inch either side to start. So three quarter of an inch. Let's see. That different. <laughs> <laughs> We're yeah. getting there. So from the beginning, it's that different between toe in and toe out. Now we adjust those. Uh, we put those spacer in uh, those uh, low control arm, and they come down to. That's a big move. That's a big move. Man, it's awesome. We're Bruce. there. We duplicated on the other side. Maybe slightly different, but we can. Yeah, we have, uh, we put the tri adjustable bolt in. So it kind of snug them a little bit. So that's where exactly we have that three spacer. So the height is like you know a little bit over like two inches yeah, yeah. okay about two and an eighth is what we were so we're well, right there is we have like ten of a thousand different yes so you want to move up or move down let's take them up just slightly up. slightly like up one turn on each nut up okay yep so this one okay to one turn go one turn the bottom is your one turn okay okay Right there. Okay. All right. Let's switch positions. Yeah. We don't have the big, uh, big raw man. No, nope, we're a little packed in here, but. Yeah, we good. We have but... one big dude and one small Asian dude, so yeah. we okay. <laughs> yeah. How many race cars were built in a two-car garage, though? We said that yesterday. Yeah. That's the way it is. Yeah. All the big guys start with the garage, little garage like this. Yeah. You know? <laughs> Have suspension all the way up. Set the dial gauge at zero. Okay, let's bring it down. One, two, three. Something has changed dramatically. Four. Five. 
463. I only moved one turn. You only one turn? So, so we've got to bring that back down. So this is like toe in? Mm-hmm. Okay. Yep. Yep. Okay. Check it back up. Set? Yes. Okay. Yeah, so we bring the outer tie rod down like a hair. See. Four fifty-seven. I think we might have too much flex in the test. Maybe the bow is it's too stronger. flexible. Yeah. So uh, let's put the tube between those and then tie it down tighter. Put the tube and the washer between okay. and tie it. That's be able to hold because the bow is moving too much. Yeah. You don't see it, but it's happened. It is moving. Okay. Yeah. So let's put tube and the washer between. Oh, we've got some play in there. The, oh, we have to tie them. Well, the threaded is just not, it's too much. Like I say, we put the, yeah. We, yeah. So you see that? So the bow is smaller than uh, the side of the yeah, you joy. See that right there? Oh, yeah. So it's it's being influenced by that. So we'll have to go back to the bolts. Longer bolt. bolt and Maybe we go to Ace Hardware and get. Need to. Yeah, we have the adjustable bolt, but actually the bow is smaller than the side of the bearing so actually that move so it's not good have to be tight yep so uh, we need to go find the bolt with this side but a lot longer so we can adjust them let's go find the bolt Yeah, so uh, Bruce cut the, he make the bracket <clears throat> and now he got to tie to the steering rod and that will be the upper bracket so double shear huh? double shear double shear no flex yep oh. Okay, so that gives us our original two and a quarter in the bottom, and that gives us about an inch above the heim on top. Okay. So now we just need to figure out how to do this and get it over and tie in, and then Another. the pieces that you cut off. <clears throat> let's see if those are long enough to make our reinforcement. It's a little event. short there, so be careful. Yeah. Oh, we'll have enough. We have enough. So we'll be able to trim that down. Yeah. And basically get it right in here where the weld mount is going to be. Or oh, either way, we can use those because the rods still need to adjust up and down. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Well, the mount won't, but this yeah. will yeah, be the, fine. Yep. Okay, so we can reuse those. Um. So now you need a little piece of cardboard and uh, mark it up and cut it. And lay on the steel and cut the bracket and then they weld them together. Mm -hmm. That's what you think? 
That's exactly. Okay. You don't have any more caliper brackets like that, do you? No, no? I, I, I can make, I can do toe mark. You can? Yeah, I can put a carpal and then mark them and we, okay. we know where the hose at. I'm just trying to figure out, you know, come out just far enough. That's we will cut the cardboard, decide where we want it come out. Yeah. I can do that if you want. Sure. Okay. can see the the mark where that's two uh, <clears throat> bolt on the spindle it's not good but I can see it A hole that. like that, right? Yes. So is that very weak? If it's so thin here, uh, no, we can not make at it all. wider. No, that's we can make like a triangle. Stuff. Yeah, we, I'm, I'm gonna we can gusset it. Yep. Yeah. We can use inch yeah, and a half plate right there. So that's uh basically is I mean weld together and we have a bracket. So the same thing we just weld this side. And we have the left side. Just flip them. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So make that, make two of them, make two of them, put a little radius there. We mock it up and we weld her on. Boom. Boom. This is just to give us an angle and a center point. Yeah, maybe a shorter one. It's yes. a little bit long. It will but... be way shorter. Yeah. But your caliper won't be there. So you could basically put them right there. That's perfect, bro. Yeah. Cause then you because can... the shorter one down here just like mm -hmm. the shaft, so it's blending yeah, room here. We only here. need like a so five inch. Actually, it they just move a little bit. Mm -hmm. This thing is just in and out, so mm -hmm. basically we have plenty of room. We there. do. Yeah. So that one right there to the frame. Yep. And up to there. Oh man, I can't wait for this. So all right, I'm gonna grab a catalog then. Yeah, fruit just about, uh, we spent like good like three, two, three hours. Yeah, about yeah. another two hours Just today. Just like yesterday. Yeah. We uh, figured out something new today. You know, we play with stuff, but actually, definitely, we head to the right direction. Yeah, and definitely. then your Bruce idea is to put the shock where the low control arm go up to the frame. I already show you guys that actually genius. Mm -hmm. They the shock is just hitting back there. It looks so clean. Yeah, it'd be very clean. And then, It'll look you know, good. <clears throat> yep. I like it. Well, thank okay, you, let's man. Let's order some parts, my friend. Appreciate that. Yes, sir. Yeah, we're gonna get the shock order, and then uh, cool. within a week we uh, pretty much can wrap this thing yeah. up. And uh, <laughs> this is uh, that's the world I came from. Yep. So. <laughs> Yeah, I, uh, I spelled his last name wrong at all, Robinson, but actually he's a Robertson. <laughs> no problem. Robinson, Robertson. <laughs> Got it. My dad will get mad. <laughs> yep. His dad will get mad. Yep. How the hell you change your last name? I said, no, it's the guy just pronounced wrong. <laughs> all right, Bruce. Awesome thanks point. again, man. I'm going to start the Phoenix because Bruce is here. <clears throat> Come over here, Bruce. Take a look at a computer, see how cool it is. Look at the screen, okay? <laughs> I 
That's cool. That's Phoenix, and that's the data. Okay. So the Guni, the uh, you know, yeah. you know the movie, the Guni. Yep. That's the little Asian kid. <laughs> Yeah, Bruce yeah. just spent uh, his time to cut all those plates so we make the top bracket for the spindle for the steel rod. We did a very good job on cardboard, yeah, huh? Very good. Yep. So we don't need a CNC machine or computer or nothing. <laughs> just draw on cardboard and cut them. We are a little bit tight though. On yeah, we can send that out. Yep. Yeah. We... Yeah, this is the basic how it look like. I just kind of mark it up. Right there, it's like bracket right there, and uh, gonna get those two pieces well together. Yep, still have the right side to do though, but basically, it's look like just like that. It's not gonna be flexed no more. I hope not. Yeah, I have those two bracket fully well in. Ooh, still hot. Yep. Looking good. Yeah, the brackets just look very strong, but I am still don't trust them. So I'm gonna add one more plate between the top and the bottom. So make sure this thing is solid. Yeah, I have the spindle brackets fully well. This is how it look like. I think it look very strong. Yeah guys, uh, me and Bruce is another day. Uh, today is Friday. It's like we spend a good time on the evening. And uh, we figured out a lot of stuff. Actually, we've done a lot of work. We've done a lot you of work. You know, you guys saw in the earlier on the video that the spindle has become solid now. I don't think it's twist. No. If they twist this thing, it doesn't mean it's, this engine have a lot of power. And then I have a very heavy pull. So did you know? So, but we we put it on the test. We <laughs> yes. put it on the test. We put it on the test. You never know what yeah. happened until we put them on the test. But yep. so far, we feel comfortable with this. We happy with what this uh, stuff mm -hmm. come out. It's great, man. Yeah. Got a little Thanks, bit, Bruce. little bit of you machine, know, man. little bit of machine work yep. to do. I gotta cook you a steak. You're gonna cook me some dinner. Oh, hey, that I BBQ. I did grill. get my T-shirt today too. Oh yeah, he yeah. got the T-shirt. Yeah. You know, I gotta well wear it the next time. It's awesome. Yep. Yeah, guys. So <laughs> yeah, so it's another happy day, another success on the you know on the spin the work and stuff. Uh, yeah, I, we uh, appreciate you watching. I see you next time. Bye now.